Hi guys, this is Thunder E from Board at Work and welcome to our unboxing of the ASUS Pad X. Yes, this is the Foam Pad X that we've heard for a while it's coming to AT&T. And here it is. It's an exclusive to AT&T in the US here. Uh, retails for $199 on contract, or you can get it for $22.90 per month through AT&T's um, uh, payment plan system here. So um, here's the packaging. Uh, it's, you know, you know, the Foam Pad X is the phone and a tablet all in one combination. You've got the traditional AT&T uh, colors around here, the orange, uh, white to AT&T look go on top pan around we have some more information and um, at the back at the bottom we have the foam pad x uh, their logo so if you don't know about the foam pad x this is the uh, this is the device that basically is a phone and then a tablet shell um, all together in one so let's go ahead use our trusty knife cut this open and open it up now you can uh, pre-order it now we have the pre-order link for you below if you choose to uh, and you can pick it up in stores on june 6th so here is the phone pad x so we do have a standard quick start guide here uh, showing you all the things you can see most of the stuff on this device will be on the phone the tablet casing is pretty much a shell in here um, you have a couple other accessories that asus um, has provided which we will take a look at uh, at a later time but here is the uh the tablet itself so this is a nine inch tablet and uh let's let's go ahead and just open this out to show you it's a nine inch at nine inch tablet uh, it's a nine inch full hd tablet you've got uh front firing speakers which is great that is a uh, front facing camera it's a very thick bezel i don't know if you can see that just trying to take that uh, lightning reflection there thick bezel asus logo at the back this is where your phone pad x the phone actually docks in and uh that's that's that there so we'll set that aside for a second take this lift this up here we have our phone pad x the phone itself what else do we have in here before we continue now i figure we should have at least so that's standard manuals and uh, warranty guide. And on this side here, we do have a USB charging cable, micro USB to USB, uh, basic earbuds. And here is a standard charging uh, adapter, travel adapter. We don't need these right now. So I'd say that's pretty much it on that department in terms of what we need for, for the device. So here is our foam pad. X. So this is a five inch display device. It's running a Snapdragon 800 processor in here. Uh, we've got 16 gigabytes of internal storage here on this thing. And it's, it's got a basic filter. You can see it's got very thick bezels on the top and the bottom sides. It's much thinner. At the rear, there's a 30 megapixel camera with LED flash. Um, and if we look around this device here, you can see there is a power volume rocker. And we should be able to have um, expandable storage around here. I just have to see, maybe I can open this. Yes, you can. So you can open up the back cover. That reveals right here your uh, micro SIM and then your micro SD card slot here. So you do have that ability in there. And um, this looks like, um, you know, this might have wireless charging. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but I think there is a wireless charging back cover for this device. So anyway, here it is. Uh, and looking at the battery size, the battery is soldered in here. So you do have that battery built in. You can't take the battery out if you choose to. Now, in terms of weight, um, it, it, it feels it feels comfortable, light enough. Uh, the design is very, um, it's a little bit different uh, for what I'm used to. But the whole idea is this, this is your device. And basically, when you want to use it as a tablet, you just slide it in and boom, you have it as a tablet. Now the tablet here has a micro USB port for charging. You do have a volume rocker here on that side. Uh, of course, the, your rear camera from your phone works as a rear camera here. And um, I believe that's it. Power button on the top, headphone jack goes off your phone. And if you want to use your phone, you slide it out. There's a proprietary dot pin nature right there. Uh, to actually lock in with the micro USB. So there's a, a docking hole, the micro USB port or right there on the device. So what I'm going to do is first just fire this phone up uh, and uh, let's look at some of the start sequences before we actually transfer this to the tablet. So it says ASUS powered by Android. Now this is very indicative of any device that's running Android 4.4.2 now. Um, basically it's a Google standard. You must have that powered by Android logo in there. And um, 
AT&T logo and we will set this device up. So let's go through the setup and then let's jump back into actually the phone's uh, functionality and use. So we have the phone fired up and set up and this is how the UI looks like. Uh, looks very streamlined. Again, it's running Android, um, as a Snapdragon 800 processor with 4.4.2. So you do have a very fast UI um, uh, functionality here. If we go into the settings, we take a look at how the settings look like. It's a nice simple breakdown. We can go to about, and you can see it's Android 4.4.2 here. So, uh, and of course you can do some software updates and things like that. You do have ISIS on here in terms of additional software and things like that. And you can see how the app tray actually looks like. So we'll spend, of course, some good time with this device here. Now, just wanted to show you how it looks when you dock it. So you basically just slide, pop, and it takes about a second or so, and then it's, it's popped in and you, it allows you to either pick between Wi-Fi or mobile. Now, one of the quick things I noticed, it feels a little heavier. And again, it's got that little chunk in the middle, but it's again, again it's a full HD display and you can see it looks now more adapted to being used as a tablet here altogether. When you pull down the notification, the standard Android notification for tablets are in the center there. You get that good idea and it looks, it looks, looks pretty good looks pretty good pretty handy and again it's very simple you pop out and it takes about a second for you to transfer over i did mention there are a few accessories there's a keyboard accessory but one is also a wireless charging case so basically you pop this out and the wireless charging case i believe it's about 80 bucks for the combined uh, accessory case pack and um, that's pretty much it and that gives you wireless charging so if we take out our tilt wireless charging stand and we just bring this back here and put this on top you can see the device should be charging yes so there it is it's actually charging with the wireless charging stand so um you've got a couple of accessories here with this that you could actually use um the tablet itself and all that functionality um all together um I, is it worth it we don't know we'll spend some time using the asus phone pad x see how well it works and handles but i do like the fact that at least that they offer a wireless charging case so uh, people like me who like wireless charging that's great and it's it's this white um off white and black kind of combination which is nice um all together so we'll use it as a phone we'll use it as a tablet we'll test it out we'll see how well it works uh we'll do some some light gaming on there just to see how well that functions but uh to give you a good idea so if you guys have any questions or any comments guys uh let us know don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on twitter facebook and youtube and also do subscribe to the channel top right hand corner of your screen or in the description below so this is thunder e saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment